It all depends on the nature of the dispute. Uh, most uh, declarations of condominium, or if you're in an HOA, a declaration of restrictions, um, most of those do have language in there that all of the members are entitled uh, to kind of paraphrase it, a peaceful existence within the association. So if you have an issue where it's noise related, um, if you have an issue where there are assigned parking spots and a neighbor's uh, parking in that particular spot, then it probably would be a good idea to contact the management company that works for the association, or if they don't have a uh, management company or a manager, to report it to uh, whomever is the liaison for the board of directors um, to see if they can resolve that matter without having to go to court. Now, having said that, there are some disputes that obviously would be outside the jurisdiction and purview of the association. Um, if you had uh, somebody that was committing some type of criminal activity and that, uh, uh, you know, you happen to be the victim of it, um, be it stalking or threats or actual physical violence or fraud or something of that nature, the association most likely is not going to get involved and would direct the person to either go call law enforcement. And if it's a civil matter and the association, for one reason or another, um, says it's outside their area, then you would have to file suit. But typically speaking, if it's a dispute um, based on the neighbor uh, causing you not to be able to fully enjoy your unit or your home, it's probably a good idea to contact the association to see if they have any suggestions or would be willing to take any action. And that might, you know, alleviate the need to either file suit or to uh, go to a law enforcement agency.